Welcome to Inside the Film Room. I'm Kristen Urgel. Today we will talk men's and women's hoops, recap the games, and have a preview of the next. We start with head men's basketball coach Matt Figger. Coach, the Govs start 2-0 in the OVC for the first time since the 13-14 season. How does this set the tone for the remainder of the season? Well, it, it obviously gives our guys confidence. Um, you know, we, we've uh, gotten a little bit of a break being able to start our first four games at home. And, and if you want to compete for a conference title, the biggest thing you have to do is you have to win your home games. And uh, that's been an emphasis, um, you know, an 18-game gauntlet. You take them one at a time, and, and every time you're allowed to play at, you're allowed to play at home in front of your, your home fans, it, it gives you uh, a little bit of an edge. And, and our guys have come out and responded to all the challenges that have been set in front of them, and I, I think we've responded well. Two guys everyone's talking about, Terry Taylor, Avery Ugba. They've now gone back-to-back -back games with double-doubles. What types of things are they doing that's making it hard for teams to shut them down? Well, we're doing a good job of our guards of recognizing that's what we've been emphasizing since we got into practice is that we want to establish the paint game and, and, and go inside and, and uh, feed off those two guys. And, and for the first two games, we've done a really good job of getting Terry the ball in his spots, getting Avery the ball in his spots, and they've both been doing an outstanding job of any time a ball's been shot going to get an offensive rebound or uh, on the other side getting defensive rebounds and line with scout and transition and, and scoring fast break. A big theme has been rebounds. You guys are winning the rebound margin. How much has this been playing a part into your success? Yeah, it's, it's huge. If you're going to have a chance to win games, you've got to out-rebound the opponent. You can't give up second-chance opportunities. Um, that's something that we've we've been emphasizing all year. Um, it's finally starting to take shape, and, and we're, we're doing a really good job. It's something we emphasize in practice that you've got to go rebound the ball if you want to win. Your last two opponents, you defeated by 20 and 16. How has that tough non-conference schedule prepared you for these contests? I, I think our guys have, have, have uh, walked into every element. They've been through every different type of adversity. I think it's prepared us um, because the level of competition that we played outside our league um, was tremendous. And, and, and our guys have seen everything now. So um, they're prepared for whatever can be thrown at them. And so it, it's given them confidence now that we're in league play that we have played at Illinois, we have played at Oklahoma State, we have played on the road at Evansville, we have played Western Kentucky, we've played teams that are very good. And so our guys now have a lot of confidence and it's, and, and it's a team now that's starting to gain more and more confidence every minute they're on the court. You have a tough game next. UT Martin, it'll be televised on the CBS Sports Network. The Govs haven't defeated the Skyhawks in three seasons. What matchup problems will we face on Thursday? Well, they're different. They're very unique, which means uh, they have a great identity, uh, which is a credit to their coaching staff. Um, they're going to throw a lot of different type of matchup zones from 2-3 to 1-3-1 to an amoeba to 2-2-1. Uh, two, two, so they're, they're, their whole game plan is to try to keep us off balance and try to keep the ball out of the paint. Uh, we've got a, we got a tough task ahead of us because we've got to figure out how to get the ball inside and, and how to score points in the paint. All right, thanks, Coach. Gov fans, don't forget we'll be in the done Thursday with UT Martin and Saturday with CMO. Coming up, we'll visit with Coach David Midlick. Stay with us. Welcome back. I'm with head women's basketball coach David Midlick. Coach, you're coming off a big win against Eastern Illinois, picking up win number eight on the season and first in conference. What were the biggest adjustments from the SIU Edwardsville game and Eastern Illinois game? I thought our defense was good in the SIU Edwardsville game. We obviously had trouble scoring the basketball. We, we tried to pick up the pace against Eastern Illinois, uh, some full court pressure. Uh, fast break offense and uh, we had a good second quarter against them where we outscored them 21 to 6. Now it's a second straight game your team has had a double digit night in steals. Against EIU you had 22 points off 19 turnovers. How was your team able to create a challenge EIU couldn't compete with? Well I thought we did surprise them a little bit with the pressure in the, in the second period and had some good energy. They adjusted to it in the third and made a run at us but overall I, I thought for both that game and the SIU Eversville game we had we, we did a good job on the defensive end. Freshman Brianna Furby came alive offensively against Eastern Illinois. What was the, your evaluation of her play in conference? Uh, she has, has to be a scorer for us. And playing at the two guard position, we want her to, to look for shots and we want her to obviously make shots as well too. And she had a, a big game for us against Eastern Illinois and led us in scoring. 
Two more games in this homestand, UT Martin and Southeast Missouri. What's your main focus going to be as you head into conference play, going deeper into conference play? Yeah, defensively we have to keep the same intensity we've had the first two games. I think uh, our defense has given us a chance to win and we have to uh, we have to play fast on offense and execute enough to get a good look at the basket with the players we want shooting the basketball. UT Martin is shooting 42.9% from the field and 35.2% from beyond the arc. How do you plan to slow down their offense that's coming off a narrow loss to Belmont? Yeah, kind of the same thing I just said. We have to, uh, we have to know where the shooters are. Uh, we've scouted them the past two days and we try to, try to take them out of their comfort zone. There's some things they do really well and, and uh, you know, we're not going to surprise them. They're not going to surprise us. We, we, we know the, the players that we're going to have to stop tomorrow night. Specifically, Southeast Missouri, they have a balanced offense. They struggled on the road. What will you be looking for in that matchup? Yeah, very good defensive team, play extremely hard. They played Belmont close as well, too, and came off a win against Tennessee State. So uh, it, it's going to be a physical game. I expect that to mirror the SIU Evertsville game. All right, Coach, best of luck. Next, we go one on one with Bree Furby. Welcome back. I'm with Bree Furby, guard for the Governors. You had your first two collegiate starts in conference play. How were you feeling heading into those games? Um, I felt really confident, uh, ready to play, and just want to be every team. Now, you posted a career high 19 points against Eastern Illinois. When did you know that was going to be a good shooting night for you? Um, and shoot around, you know, we shoot for like 45 minutes. So I was really focusing on my shots, and in the game, I was just ready to shoot. You're averaging 9.9 .9 points per game. How have you been able to continually perform well on the offensive side? My teammates, they, uh, they find me, and I get the open spots, and I just shoot it. Luckily, it goes in. So Now we are getting into thick of conference play. Does it feel like there's an energy changing in the locker room with these games having potential for postseason implications? Um, OVC play is really important to us. Uh, we want to win as much as we can so we can have a good seed uh, once OVC uh, playoffs start. You have a twin sister on the team. You played on the same high school team, AAU team. What made you decide to stay together and play for the Govs? Well, me and my sister, we love playing together. And when we're on the court, you know, we just know where each other is at. So there was no doubt that we need to go to the same college and play basketball. And it probably helps your parents as yes. well. They can see both of their daughters at the same time. Yes, my mom comes to every game. She's going to be there in the front seat. So we'll I like look that. forward definitely. Now the yeah. best part of playing collegiate basketball with your sister would be? Just knowing that somebody is always on my side no matter what. And OK, there has to be a downside. Um, people get confused. About <laughs> who is who on the court. <laughs> Definitely. And have you played any tricks on anyone else? Yeah. Uh, Coach T, she asked uh, which one of us was Brandy. And I said I was Brandy because I looked at Brandy. I was like, that's such a trick her. And uh, she thought I was Brandy. She was like, yes. And I was like, just kidding. I'm Brianna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hadn't done it since then, though, right? <laughs> All right. OK. So thanks so much for joining us. Guys, pack the Dine Center Wednesday at 7 o'clock to see her and her teammates match up against UT Martin. And again on Thursday as the men host the Skyhawks at 6 o'clock. Get your tickets at letsgop.com. Thanks so for watching Inside the Film Room. I'm Christian Ergel. We'll see you next time.